and then there were eight. 32 NFL teams began work in August, all with the same goal of reaching the Super Bowl. Well, now 24 of those teams are watching from home, and we are one step closer to crowning our next Super Bowl champ. With a pretty successful wild card round of picks, I'm feeling pretty confident that the divisional round will go even better. But my work is cut out for me because while every single one of these games could go either way, but someone has to do it, so why not stop now? First up, the Cincinnati Bagels take on the one-seeded Tennessee Titans in the Music City. Now, these are probably two of the most exciting and least talked about teams left in the playoffs, and how they play could not be more different. The Titans' strength is their run game, and the Bengals' D-line is currently depleted with several key players like Pro Bowler Trey Hendrickson recovering from injury. The Bengals, meanwhile, have Joe Burrow dropping back to throw 60-yard dives to Jamar Chase, and the Titans' secondary has a tendency to give up big plays, which the Bengals thrive on. So it's a tough choice for me right off the bat. But in the playoffs, I have to go with the stronger run game and experience. So the Titans advance to the championship, being the Bengals 31 to 27. And then in our second AFC matchup, it's a rematch of last year's championship game between the Buffalo Bills and the Kansas City Chiefs. The Bills defense is number one in the league in yards allowed, while the offense is not too far behind in fifth. The Chiefs, meanwhile, have the talent to match, but have problems starting games off on the right foot. The Bills, though, rely a lot on Josh Allen's arm and legs to keep them in games. And with a Chiefs D-line that has Chris Jones, Melvin Ingram, and Frank Clark, Allen may need an ice bath after this game. But with the ability that the Chiefs had to kind of start slow and the Buffalo's offense that can score in an instant, the Bills get their revenge, winning 37-34. And then with the AFC wrapped up, we head over to the NFC with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers hosting the LA Rams. Now the Bucs have been hit with the injury bug at the worst time, losing two Pro Bowlers possibly to injury in Ryan Jensen and Tristan Wirfs. And it doesn't help when the opposing defense has Aaron Donald and Vaughn Miller. Now, the Rams, meanwhile, have started to figure out a formula of running the football to take pressure off of Matthew Stafford. But the Bucs have Levante David and Devin White ready to stop any running back in their tracks. It is hard to bet against Tom Brady, but he can't play defense, and the Rams have had the Bucs number since Brady got there. So Matthew Stafford gets to his first championship game, winning 34-31. And then finally, the Green Bay Packers start their playoff run when they host the San Francisco. Francisco 49ers. The Niners are one of the hottest teams right now, finding ways to win with creative play calling on offense and a talented pass rush on defense. The Packers, though, have been able to put teams away after really struggling and letting them get into it late. Plus, they are getting healthier and healthier. Now, both of these teams will probably see a lot of each other, and David Bakhtiari will see a lot of Nick Bosa in just his second game in over a year, while the defense will have to force Jimmy G into some turnovers to get Rodgers and the offense back on the field. And I think A.J. Dillon will have to play a monster role in these playoffs for the Packers to reach where they want, and it starts in this game. And so it's another championship for the Packers as they win 27-21 over the Niners. Thank you for watching ABC 10 News on YouTube. For the latest Upper Peninsula news, weather, and sports, be sure to subscribe to our channel and like us on our Facebook page.